Hello everyone, my name is Olivia Kim and I head a Medic Scanner training program here at Evident. In this video, we'll be covering on Allonex case. Let's start by registering the patients. On the order form, go to the arch and select upper and lower and click denture. Medit provides various types of the denture cases such as a full denture, replica denture, and implant-supported denture. Assign the cases as an implant-supported denture. And hit scan. You will see the scan sequences as follows. Edentrous maxilla and scan body, maxillary denture, edentrous mandible, scan body, mandibular denture, and occlusions. In the stage management, you can add face scan if you prefer. Let's go ahead and begin with the edentrous maxilla. We'll scan the edentrous without denture. Change the smart scan filtering options to no filtering. This feature enables the soft tissues to remain intact. Your starting point will be Luge area. Build up the primary data by taking the alveolar reach on both left and right. Then move on to the buccal side and make sure to include the vestibule and the frenum. And then come back to the Luge area and continue scanning the whole posterior palate. Then you will continue to the next scan body stage. As you can see on the screen, the dentrous maxilla is copied over. Place the scan body in the patient's mouth, then scan again. You can also use the AI scan body matching feature. AI scan body matching feature lets you align library data automatically with the scan body data. This will allow you to scan the data quicker. If you want to do this feature, the AI scan body matching button is located at the bottom of the scan body stage. Select the defined library and select the case number. And from here, choose the options for a company. And the type. And bone level and RC regular cross feed. This is what I have. And you have a have to click assign and click confirm. Then your implant uh, library will appear on the screen. Place a scan body and select the teeth. Continue the process by scanning the matching point. Even you scan half of the scan body, when the software recognizes it, it will automatically align the perfectly with the scan body library data. You need to scan multiple scan bodies but if you have only one, you can just lock and transfer the scan body. Use the lock area feature to lock the designated area so it don't affect any further scanning. And do the same process for other teeth. Sometimes it doesn't align automatically, or if you want to make changes, you can align manually with the manual alignment feature. You have an option to detach the data. Assign one or three points on both the scan data and, and corresponding library to match the align the two together. Move to the denture scan stage. So the denture is copied over and also inverted. Scan with the feeding surface of the denture so that the denture data collected from the previous stage is inverted and aligned with the denture scan data. As you can see, the data will overlap on the top of the maxillary scan.
As you can see, the dentures maxilla is flipped and aligned with the denture scan data. Once it's lined up, please take the artificial teeth on the denture. Repeat the same process for the opposing arch. Begin with the retro molar pad and build up the baseline by scanning the alveolar ridge. And then move on to the scan body stage. and scan the denture outside of the mouse. It doesn't seem to be overlap on the top of the maxillary scan. Then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add the pre-op scans and delete the data. Scan the denture in the patient's mouth. And delete the data with using trimming tool. and rescanning the dentures. Instead of scanning the denture, we will align the bite with the pre-op data. So please let the patients wear the denture and take a scan of occlusion. I hope this video helps. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact me by email below. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. Bye.